Hi, everyone. This is Wednesday, August 17th, and this is the DEI event badging bi weekly meeting. That's a mouthful. I think everybody has the minutes. If you can just drop your name in as an attendee, that would be awesome. Um, first things first, we would love to have a facilitator picked for next week or next two weeks, next meeting. So if you're interested in doing that, raise your hand or shout out or something. Indicate in some way. Oh, good. Here comes Ruth. Indicate in some way that you would be interested in that. I mean, I can do it again, but I don't want to, I don't want to hog the experience. Um, you know, take uh, that away from someone else. I can, I can jump back in. I can take that next week awesome. or next on the 31st to be yeah. exact. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Matt. Yeah. I'm going to put you out here. Matt C. Okay. Uh, let's jump into the agenda here really quick. And sharing should be working today. Hopefully everybody can see that. Since it was being, you know, yeah, I was being super wonky yesterday. So I'm glad it's not today. But um I don't think Enoch is here, but I'll just give a quick update on the badging bot. Um Enoch is doing an absolutely fantastic job. Huge shout out to him. Um he's getting the bot, uh he, he's doing a lot of testing right now. We've uh, moved away from Glitch and we're hosting it on a DigitalOcean um, instance. And he is currently working on, we've we've got kind of a flow of how we want the bot to go um, as far as it'll pretty soon be able to assign a reviewer and do everything automatically, even add the, um, the badge once it's finished, add it to a list of all of the badge recipients which we're gonna move away from the README because it's just getting long. <laughs> it's a good problem to have, but we're gonna be putting it on a separate, in a separate doc and it will probably end up on the badging bot or a badging website, we're thinking, it's still TBD, but um, yeah. And he, it's just going really fantastic. He's setting it up so that anybody that wants to add to the bot in the future and expand its scope or fix something, there's a whole testing suite now um, associated with that. So. It's doing it's really really awesome and um yeah he's going to be implementing i think a mongodb instance to hold lightweight uh hold all the information about the reviewers and the events that have been badged so things can quickly be pulled from that to populate any kind of document we want and assign badgers and things like that so it's great and he's wonderful and i'm super happy with all the progress that he's made on his um, google summer of code project so any questions about that that maybe I can answer? I will try. <laughs> I guess just for me is like, is the badging bot, is it changing a lot of stuff in terms of the workflow that we would see? No. Okay. No, it's back end. It's back end stuff. It's going to take the, uh, it's going to do some things that like current maintainers are doing manually. Um, there still is some kind of question, and I'm not sure if Ruth and Enoch have had a chance to chat about the integration between the website and GitHub um, and that opening of the form. And I know that there's still a little bit of, um, uh, what's the word I want? Um, still some things to be sorted out. Um, oh, here comes Ruth. Okay. She's raising her hand. Go for it, Ruth. Okay, um, so we had a long chat. Enoch and I kind of had a long chat yesterday um and we it's a rough sketch of how the website but it's it's a far-fetched um thing um so what, what we thought about is for now we have the website just um solve the issue of the readme and you know having um the conferences in the website and then also talk more about what badging is like more information about badging um, then the second version of what we are going to that would be like when we have a good thought thought out process is we're thinking of something like a portal to um, where we can manage the process that will also be backed up on GitHub. So we haven't really thought about like the feasibility of that, but it's still it's still something we are thinking about um, so we can 
accommodate um, other signing options aside from GitHub. So it's still a rough sketch, but for now, the website is just going to have, um, you know, more details about badging and also like um, showing um, the form, just the way we have it on the website, just having the form there on the apply page, having the form there. And then also showing the process of badging and how a form where um, reviewers can also, prospective reviewers can also apply to be reviewers for now. Um, then we can think about um, the other option later on. And yeah, we'd, we'd have something maybe next week. Enoch and I will kind of think about something next week. So we still thoughts for now. I don't know if I confused anybody. I don't think you confused me, but I, I don't know what it else. Also not confused. Yeah, I, I mean, having been gone for a bit, coming back to see so much progress is awesome. Okay, great. So Ruth, okay. just to clarify, you all have not decided where that form will actually end up living, the application itself, whether it be on the website or on that GitHub form, right? Is that right? We can have it, we can have it on the websites because then people, I think people find people find badging through the website right people find badging through um through the chaos websites right people that's where people have been interacting with applications right so we can still have it on the websites in the new websites now instead of like the chaos.community website you can have it when that website is up and active we can have that form field on the chaos um on the badging website and then, so the 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 bridge between the website and the opening of the issue, um, Enoch and I talked about that a little bit. So we're going to try, if we keep it on the website, that's totally fine, but we're going to try to have some kind of automated process where it yeah. automatically opens the issue. Okay. Yeah, we can like replicate what happens on the website. I don't know how that was done, but we can replicate it with the new sites, like well, right now it's a little unwieldy for the applicant. They have to do a lot of things manually after they fill the form out. Um, it gives them, you know, the this the the paragraphs that they just copy and paste, but they have to physically go into GitHub and open the issue themselves. So Enoch and I talked about that that kind of pain point for them, and maybe uh, doing that automatically through the API or something. So um, okay, just as long as we try to make it as smooth as possible for the applicant. Yeah, I do have a question. So. Um, what you're saying is, if I go to the form on the chaos of community website and I fill it out, do I still have to do any manual process? I thought it was just a smooth signing with GitHub and it automatically opens the issue. Right. You have to still. Um, it'll. You can test it right now. You can do a test event right now, but it will give you like the things that you need to copy and paste as the applicant. But then you still need to copy and paste it into a new GitHub issue that you open under your account. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. I thought the sign in yeah. with GitHub was automatically does that. Yeah, we tried to make it as seamless as possible when we first created it. And uh, that uh, so we were able to do a, a process where it automatically signs you in, brings you to the flow of like, uh, automatically puts the text into a GitHub issue for you. And all you have to do is click submit. The issue we ran into with that is that once applications got longer, um, we we were using like just a GitHub like URL encoded string to uh, to to put all that content in the issue. And once that got too long for the standard that it was working in, then we had to give them the text and be like, "Hey, uh, click this button to copy it. Go to GitHub and then paste it in the issue," which is super cumbersome. Um, so then that came up came up right before I was gone for moving um, was the uh, the possibility of using forms within a GitHub issue, which in that case we would just link them to the uh, the, the 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 page where you start making an issue, and they would have an option to do this application, this kind of application. Um, there's there's multiple ways to do it, but I think the only one we found for for sure, like the concrete solution, is the form. Uh, within GitHub. 
Yeah. So that was kind of the reasoning behind um, exploring that is because then it, they would maybe the form that, well, the form itself would be on GitHub, but it would look like UI friendly. It wouldn't look like, um, you know, they would have to figure it out. It would look like a, a form that they could easily fill out. And then it would just seamlessly then open an issue. So I think that um, if I'm not mistaken, Ayush had done some playing around with that for project badging. Is that right, Matt G? I, yeah, I think so. Now that you say that, and I'd have to go like track that back down again. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so Ruth, if that's helpful, yeah, go ahead, Ruth. Yeah. So if we're using the GitHub form option, that means like if an applicant wants to apply, they have to go to GitHub, right? Like, They have to go to the rep one, open the form up. Yeah, um, yeah, we would maybe link to this. Uh, it looks like it's not really, wait, to get started. The, the, their linking is pretty nice. You can actually just link to an open form that, the, that you can then fill out, but you have to okay. have the form created first. Okay, from the website. So we can put that link in on the website and then have people go there. Yes, yeah. I thought he had a working one that you could play with, but I don't think he got that far. Yeah, I think I just linked to it, but it, it seems like uh, the issues are gone and the form is gone as well. Um, so it, I think it's been retired, but I, I can also okay. link to the help page that talks about how to do all of it. Yeah, we'll, we'll find it. Um, but yeah, so that is an option, um, but also Enoch was, um, thinking that perhaps we could just use the GitHub API to automatically open the issue from the website. So um, we have a couple of options, I think, to explore in that regard that will make it easier. Because I totally get what you're saying, Ruth, about making people who maybe aren't familiar with GitHub, you know, go there and figure it out. Um, but we do want to uh, maintain that transparency and have everything still be out in the open. So, yeah. Um, okay. Well, I think that's all the updates we had for badging bot, um, but progress is definitely being made and it's hopefully gonna be make things a whole lot easier for everybody. Well, for me anyway, <laughs> for, me, for me and probably Ruth too. <laughs> so um, yeah, so I'm a big fan. Um, okay, let's go to the next thing, which is the website. And I'm guessing Ruth, you put that link in there. You wanna talk a little about that? Yeah, um, so if you could navigate to the link, it's just some progress from the last meeting. Um, let's see, it's loading up. Yeah, this is like the home page. That's just the progress that has been going on, like the home page. And I think there's a fall for error page. So, this is how the home page is going to look like. Um, you can zoom in a little bit, I think. Maybe you could zoom in. Um, yep. Yeah, so we, um, this is like text. We could rework the text on this. I think the light initially put this in, um, but we could also rework the text with it. But this is how the home page is going to look like. Um, We have like the about us page that would detail um, generally what DI badging is about. And then events badging page that would show more details on events badging, the review process. And um, then we have the project badging page. We don't have much info there. So I think we, we talked about having a coming soon kind of like thing for now. And then the apply for a badge page, I think that's where I would link back to the GitHub form. And then we have also have like a page um, badge events that would kind of paginate the different events we've badged um, to have like a pagination, to be a paginated page. So it's it's automatically, I, I don't know if we're automatically updated, but we'll think about that later when we want to start development, but that page will show like um, badge events. 
uh, let's scroll down. Can you scroll down a bit? This bit? Yeah, so this, this other section, event badging, will still link back to the event badging page, like I said. Then the badging levels, I think we can just have it here. Um, we, we will not have like any page for badging levels. So it should the different badging levels here. And we have like a page for like frequently asked questions. Uh, maybe we could work on, like these are the questions that we just put in. Um, Matt, you said, could you put the badges in the badging level section? That's on event badge. Oh, yeah, it's just because we have those, we have those like images, you know what I mean? Like instead of like the color gold, the color silver. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I think Elizabeth is going there. Okay. Those, yeah. Okay, we we should put like the um the description. Well, the just... actual image is bearing the pending the colors. Like DNI images and it. Like... Matt, do you mean like the DNI text in the badge or like well, the second the second column that Elizabeth is pointing to? Like put that image and then go back to the other page. Okay, mm -hmm. not not just the in, colors. In okay. That. Yeah. Okay. 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 I think Kinsley is here, so Kinsley has to get note of that. Thank yeah. you, Matt. Hi everyone. Sorry for joining late, please. Hey, Kingsley. Apologies for joining late, sir. <laughs> Okay, so then a little bit, you scroll down. So, um, then we have the footer that just, um, uh, I think this footer, um, this part talks about chaos community and then quick links. And then I think this join us part would, um, talk about participating in badging so we can rework the text. Well, I think those are the main things. I don't know if any like feedback or what we could are the pages. The pages we have now, although I think you can say I've not designed those particular pages, but this is the home page. So like I appreciate like feedback on you know the whole thing. Okay. Uh, um I love, uh, love the look, by the way. I think it looks great. Thank you, Matt. Um okay, just to just a quick one in addition to what um Rich just said, um some of the other pages like the about of uh about us page um is actually on the okay, uh Ruth, I don't know if you can stop sharing. Let me see if I could navigate to the screen. Okay, Kinsa, I think you can share now. Yeah, you should be able to. Okay. Uh, mm. Can you see my screen? Yes. yes. We can. Your tabs look like mine, Kingsley. <laughs> Sorry? I have that many tabs open as well. So <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> okay, so um we have so many tabs every time. <laughs> oh, forgive me, please. Uh, okay, so at the moment, um we have this ongoing um the about us page. So I think there are actually some insights. Um, uh, Lamy, Lamy is actually one of the amazing designers on the project too. So she's currently working developing this. So I think the battles piece, because initially I, I thought we were just basically going to have an overview of the budget process, but I think this is really like a walkthrough on I think um the whole process involved in um, DI badging. And for me, I think this also makes a lot of sense and all that. So this is actually um, ongoing. So maybe in the course of the week or probably in our next call, we should see an op optimized version of this. And also, and of course, uh, we, we prototypes are not so, but for at the moment this is all we have. I think Ruth has said that already and uh, maybe just like a dummy error page, you know, so I think this is all we have for now. And um, just a few inputs too on the this thing, the landing page, uh, we are also considering. 
But of course, your feedback, we really appreciate your feedback and any inputs you have at the moment. Thank you. Maybe Ruth, you can share again, please. So Kingsley on that, there was like a timeline. Did I see that on your screen? It was like, yeah. The like, PowerPoint page, the one that you had the, um, I think fill the okay. form, that one. Yeah. Are you referring to this? Yes, yeah. The roadmap. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay. Oh. So that is that's like the process by which you would yes, go. The, okay. Yes, yes. The DI fill the form and yep. pair review, receive okay. badge, and yeah. So would you add the badging roadmap? Would that be like another section in that landing page? Um okay, these are actually on the about us page. I see. Where okay. yeah, yeah. These are actually on the about us page. So, so this is just, just like up page. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Mm, more I, like a I quick rundown. Nice. Okay. Oh, I was gonna say, can you scroll up to it might be nice to somehow recognize on the about us page the reviewers or the people who have been, if not just the reviewers, but like the people who have been involved in the project. Okay. The, like, the, are you referring to the, the budget reviewers or, or so the event people. reviewers or rather? So. Yeah, I mean, it could be, I mean, I, I don't even know if you need to be a reviewer, but it like could be like everybody who's participated in making the badging program what it is. It's like a just a thank you page. You know, it's like, so thank you to Ruth. Thank you to Katie. Thank you to Enoch. Thank you to Elizabeth. You know what I mean? Like you just okay. recognize the people. I'm not sure. Sometimes that's a little bit of a pain oh. because people come and go. But well, I'm I'm also thinking if the battle speech is actually the most suitable place to but of course, let me, you're about saying something you can mention that. Please. Okay, yes. I was saying that we could add it to the outline. The, the about us page is incomplete here. And there's like an outline. <clears throat> there's an outline of what would be included in that page. So if you scroll, in, like a small um, text box <clears throat> of what would be on the about us page, so we could add it there. I'm not sure I got to you, Lamni. Sorry, please. Okay, I'm saying that there's a there's a text box of that contains all the information that would be on this about us page. So that can be included. I had it in mind, but I forgot to add it to the list, so you can include it. Okay. If you see my where I'm it. Maybe we could just put a section of like and just call it the, the DEI badging team and then just like list everybody as like who's on the team kind of a thing or something. Okay. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Okay, I've taken note of that. So and I I can help provide a list of those people. Like, I would not expect you to know who all those people are. <laughs> yeah. oh, also, I think we really need like a badging, like the copy, the web copy, like there, like a whole lot of information that I think Kinsley and Lamy do not have about badging. So I'll open up a doc if it's read and also add you to the doc to put in like for these pages, these respective pages. So we, we are sure we are putting in the correct things for the web copy too. That's sounds idea. great. Yeah. That would be helpful. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. I, okay. I have a quick question too about um, where will this, the, the code for this live? Like, will it live 
in the website repository on the chaos org or will it live in a website repository on the badging org? I think the badging org. Okay. Yeah, would probably open up a repo for the website on the badging org. Um, Matt, did you? Okay. Um, I think Matt said on the chaos org for Kevin. I'm just I'm just thinking for Kevin as he pulls in pages to render the website. Okay. It'd probably be easiest if it's a folder in the website repository that has this information. That would be my guess. Okay, and, and then we can also like talk about it during website meetings too. Because I think exactly. Enoch had talked about that too, like involving this website work in the web content meeting. Yes, that would be, yeah. It's a guess, but we can ask Kevin. Yeah, I think we should ask Kevin. <laughs> yeah. It's just whatever's easiest for him or the website maintainer. Yeah, I, because it doesn't make much difference, I think, for the badging group where the code lives. Yeah, and then we also, I think, um, I think one of my thoughts earlier was that, um, you know, Kevin has been really focusing for now on like the, the website we designed, the main website we designed. So, um, we, we would need to like ask uh, Kevin to confirm that we are bringing this in, but <laughs> you're not like going to be solely responsible. <laughs> Yeah, right, right, right. Okay, anything else on the um on the website? Mm, we'll go back to I would open up that document and share with you Elizabeth and any other person to that wants to put in um information on each page, what what would be on each page like the web copy awesome oh yeah um I, I i almost out for the minutes but since i can see them here i can see the first thing on the agenda looked like it was mine but i can come in later after every other thing has been discussed Yes, I I gave an update, but we would love to hear your oh, update because I'm sure it's better. No, 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 that's fine. I I thought um you skipped it because um I came in late. No, I just gave a quick update on like what we've been talking about, what you've been working on, and I told everyone how awesome you are. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. Okay, we okay, could go on. Um, I could come in later if you give an update about it. I can come in later after every other thing has been discussed, just in case there is time. Okay. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Um, I know Matt G has to leave in a couple minutes and he has an update on project badging. So you go for it, Matt G. Yeah, so the update is just that we're next week. Elizabeth, if you want to join, really, if, if others want to join too, on the 24th, I'm going to be meeting with Demetrius to just talk about project badging because I, I think we have to, we have this, as we've talked about, a scale issue related to project badging, which is just how big it could potentially be. And I think we need to be very cautious about how we roll out project badging. And so I just, and I, I think the work that is happening in the all in project is potentially very supportive of project badging and i just it's it's about I, I hope the meeting is just about kind of aligning what our goals are or could be and what the goals of the all-in project could be you know what i mean and how we think about scale together as a group so the meeting is wednesday the 24th at 11 a.m u.s central yeah, will you send me an invite or yeah. I can reach out to Demetrius and ask no, no, I'll just add you to the invite. Okay. Cool. Thanks. And then the other update that I had is if you can scroll down, the Apache team, we had continued to talk about um, 
how to like reach out to other foundations about event badging. And Apache continues to come up. And that's, I think that's the very general email. So I, I thought, would, would you mind if I just reached out to them? And it would kind of be two things. One is saying, hey, we've been having a lot of success badging events with the Linux Foundation, primarily. You know, would you have an interest? And then also, like, would you, if you have an interest, would you also have an interest in participating in the badging effort? You know, like as as reviewers or um, basically as reviewers. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Just kind of thinking about if we add, I think we have to do two things. One is if we reach out to another foundation, we also have to think about the number of reviewers. Because if they say, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and put all of our events through the badging program, <laughs> like what? Uh, that would be <laughs> not great maybe. Oh, thank you. You clicked that. That's been, you clicked the okay button. Oh, you can I, see I've that? Been, I've been looking, yeah, I've been looking at that the whole time. <laughs> so distracting. I hate that it tells me that. Sorry. I know, every single time. It's like, uh, yes, I know who I am. Thank you. So I'm going to, I'll draft an email and I'll probably just share it with you, Elizabeth, and, okay. and anybody else who wants to see it, just to kind of do those two things. One, you know, we'd love to have you submit events and two we'd love to have you participate as part of the review team I think that would be awesome I love how you framed that too would we mind yes absolutely we would totally mind if you did some project no we wouldn't mind <laughs> of course yeah. we wouldn't mind. that would be okay cool all right I gotta drop off I gotta go okay um, the, Matt I did see Matt. that I saw okay. that okay gotta go bye and bye Oh, Elizabeth. Uh huh. I one thing. Um, none of those stickers are showing up, and I'm sure that the right address is being used. It, it yes. It from my personal experience about sending things for Chaos Cast to our guests, a lot of things don't get delivered ever for whatever well, reason. I mean, I mean, the stickers that were supposed to be sent to me so that I could send them out. Ooh, I have oh, everybody's oh. addresses. I have it all pretty. I have everything on my desk ready to make it all. And the stickers aren't here. And Sean said that he got a, um, he ordered a hundred stickers and had them sent to me. And I made sure my address in Slack was right. And they're not here. And the stickers that he sent the very first time aren't here. So... Mm -hmm. I don't know uh, what's happening to the stickers in the mail. Maybe there's a mailman that really likes chaos stickers. But <laughs> nothing else has gotten lost lately. <laughs> I mean, they are pretty in high demand. So, yeah. Um, that is an excellent question that I don't have any information in. Like, I don't have any insight into that at all. Um, let me follow up with Sean or Matt. I know, actually, is Matt C still here? Did, did they drop off? Mm -hmm. He had a drop. He dropped off. Okay. Um, I I have not been involved in any of the process of ordering, um, but I can find out. And if he sent me a hundred, I was expecting them to show up so that I could bring the rest to Europe. Yeah. And have them there. So that would be our stickers. But <laughs> yeah, let me just see what I can. Let me put that a thing in here. Concerns me. <laughs> Uh, sticker, sticker update. There is a sticker black hole on my street somewhere. <laughs> okay, I'll see what I can find out. So I don't even actually know where we get them printed. I don't know anything about it. So um, follow Oops. up with Sean. You said Sean, right? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. And Sean will probably be on the next call, right? Uh, maybe. He, I think he might have had something going on today. Also, I don't know how so much of the next call I'll be able to make. It's our company all hands, global all hands meeting. So, okay. 
I have well, to be at that most of the time. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'll ping him and see, or we can ask him the next time. I'm sure he'll be around at some point <laughs> to ask. So, um, but yes, I do have all of the names and I have everybody's addresses and I awesome. have the cards and it's all really pretty. I have the pretty pens. I just need the stickers. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love it so much. It's so fantastic. Thank you for doing all that. And soon I'll even have the international stamps so that I can just stick them in the mailbox. Yeah, well, I thought you meant like they weren't getting delivered to the reviewers and that also no. might be something that happens. Um, I've just, it's just been my experience with sending stuff from Chaos Cast is that sometimes international shipping just doesn't quite go through for whatever international, reason. International shipping might be more reliable than what I'm experiencing right now with the stickers. <laughs> That's true. True. <laughs> all right okay i think we are done now with the agenda unless anybody else had anything else to add and i don't and matt, know Enoch, oh go matt ahead saw my matt saw my comment about adding me to the meeting right yeah he did okay Um, Enoch, was there anything like you don't really know what I said? I was going to say, is there anything you wanted to add to what I said earlier? But you don't know what I said. So, <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm quiet. I'm like, I may be repeating myself and also trying. And um, um, I'm, I'm now confused <laughs> whether I should speak or not. But I'm like, maybe we can um, leave it because I'm sure you've um, at least given everything you know about um, it. But of course, what I told you earlier is what's going on. Yeah, I think I yeah. covered pretty much everything, actually. Yeah, sure. And we talked about the integration between the website and GitHub because um, Ruth was here. And so we did discuss that a little bit and just kind of like she recapped what you all had discussed about that, too. So um, that's right. Well represented. Yes. <laughs> sure, sure. OK, no problem. All right. Well, does anybody have any? Anything else or any questions for Enoch about the badging bot or any anything they want to talk about? Oh, yeah, uh, maybe one update that you've not given, yeah. which I'm sure you've not. Um, I'm trying to run, I'm trying to run a script. Um, if you could um, try, is it you sharing the screen? It is me. I will stop. Yeah. No, 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 no. Don't stop. <laughs> I want oh. you to navigate this. Uh oh, OK. So um, you could go to <clears throat> to our to the budging organization. Okay. Yeah, um, I created a new repository. This right here, bot scripts. Yeah. So if you if you see down there, um, I I I I I put that anyone who would want to contribute can just copy that and paste it in their terminal and um, it will run things automatically until everything is set up for them. So like, you don't need to figure out what to do. It will clone for you the repositories. It will update them. It will um, ask you for the necessary credentials and environmental variables. So by the time that script stops running, you have a whole working um, set up for your local development. So um, I just created that for people who who um, would want to contribute, but they're newbies and they do, they do not know anything about how to configure stuff so that um, they don't have to read the documentations and stuff. Just run that in your terminal and um, it does the magic for you. And all you care about is um, writing the code. Amazing, amazing and magical. Mm -hmm. What? That's fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, though I've, I'm still testing out for Linux, it works so well. I'm still testing it out for for Mac and uh, also Windows using um using um the Linux um the Linux capabilities for Windows. I'm, I'm sure they use like WSL um to mimic the Linux terminal. So for Linux, I tested it out and it works. I'll test it out for Mac. And I'll also test it out for Windows so that I'm sure that everyone is catered for in their various environments.
That's awesome. I love that. Yep, I think that's it. Um, the others, you've already given updates about them, I'm sure. That's that's great. Does anybody have questions for Enoch on that? That's super cool. I'm not sure if you run it on the Mac, but um, if someone has Linux, you could just run it now and um, or oh, anytime later. So if anyone wants to contribute to the budging board, um, you could just point them there. I also added it in the README for the budging board, though I've not yet um, uploaded um, the commits for because I'm still I'm working on some changes and I want to upload them at once because um, deployment takes a lot of time. So I would want to run a deployment not every time, at least once in a while when it's necessary. That's why um, the actual changes in the README have not yet changed, but at least um, once 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 I up, uplo upload and I'll deploy maybe during the weekend. Um, the changes for the readme file of the budging bot will be there. So if there is anyone who would want to contribute, um, um, the platform is already set up and um, it's up and running. Everything is catered for. So if um, if you if 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 you maybe Ruth also, I heard people who um, if she's still on, or she left. But um, if there is anyone maybe in the Chaos Africa whom I had wanted to contribute, um, I think now it's easy for them. And it's really a, still a project that is not yet um, too much packed with a lot of code. So it will be easy for, for new people to jump on and um, grasp easily. Totally agree. Maybe um, you could drop something in the Chaos Africa Slack or bring it up um, at the next Chaos Africa meeting. I think it would be good maybe. Oh, yeah. Okay, sure. I think I will need to communicate that update also in the Slack channel yeah, so that um, people are aware. Yeah, um, we can also pin that to the Slack, the badging Slack or any, you know, any, any way I can help to get the word out about that. Um, just let me know or like, you know, link to it or reference it. It's awesome. Yep. Um, I don't know where I, which channel you'll pin that, but if it's necessary to do that, I think it is, majorly for those who who now want to contribute or and, and can't contribute to Agar and Grimo Lab because of the the, 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 the robustness in the projects. Um, I think this is now a cool a, a cool project you can kickstart with. Yeah, yeah. As you yeah. wait for Agar. I know too. Kevin has been working, um, and the whole that whole team has been working on paths uh, to contribute. And I think this would be a really good candidate for that newcomer path to give them yeah, a true, place to go. Sure. Yeah, sure. that's awesome. That's really fantastic. All right, that's, that's the update I had. Okay, well, it looks like we are done with the agenda. Um, if anybody has anything else, speak now or else we'll just go ahead and end the meeting a little early. <laughs> you almost sounded like you're announcing wedding buns. <laughs> <laughs> we <Forever> remain <laughs> silent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I will see everybody later. Bye. Maybe I'll see you in a couple weeks. Thanks, everybody. See ya. Okay.